Hey, I'm Jacob, one of the makers of Ice Panel, which is a visual diagramming tool that helps engineering and product teams realign on the technical decisions they've made. We help you create an interactive map of your software systems so that you can give your entire team full context of how things work today and into the future. So I want to jump into the tool and showcase some of the core things that we're doing at Ice Panel to kind of help with this problem. Firstly, we use a very simple structure known as the C4 model, which is a hierarchical way of showing how software systems work. This takes an audience first approach to diagramming, meaning that here we're showing a context level diagram, which is a real zoomed out view of our system. This can be shown to anyone in the team, whether you're technical, such as developers or architects, but also non-technical people, such as product owners or business stakeholders will also understand this level of detail. Before we dive into the next level of technical detail, I also want to point out that we're a model-based tool, meaning that these objects belong in a single source of truth, which is known as the model. This means that we can find more information about this object, such as other diagrams that it exists in, the people who own that particular object, connections that already exist, and more metadata about this particular object. When you make changes to this object, they sync across all of the views that they are being drawn in, meaning that everything is kept in sync with each other. We can then zoom in and show more level of uh, detail, and this is more targeted towards te technical people. However, there are gonna be some product people such as product owners and business analysts that also gain value from this level of detail. We also link these resources to reality and right now that includes um, our source control so we can jump directly to the place in which this is stored in our github repo and when they go out of date so what we do is we periodically check whether they're still they still exist or not we can flag that object as being out of date and therefore notifying you when your documentation is starting to drift from reality some other things we do, because we use modeling, um, we can also overlay extra information to this diagram. So usually what you would do if you wanted to show a different perspective is you'd have multiple different diagrams that are unlinked to each other. We have a few features such as tags where we can highlight specific, you know, in this case, technology choices, but also change the perspective again. So we can look at this diagram in terms of release versions. So what is currently live versus what is currently in future or future planned uh, architecture. And we can hide specific tags as well, meaning that we can have a direct comparison between the current and future state architecture. Again, because we use modeling, we can apply more uh, levels of detail to this particular diagram, such as our diagrams flow feature. And this allows you to showcase the sequence of messages running through your system as if it was at runtime. This is a super useful feature when onboarding new team members, but also just running through a particular scenario to see what vulnerabilities you may have inside your system. So why does this matter today? Engineering and product teams are often misaligned on the technical choices that they've made. This is only getting worse with the increasing complexity of the systems that we're building. The inconsistency in the current flexible options that we have for diagramming mean that it's difficult to move fast and oftentimes those diagrams are unlinked to each other and also reality, meaning that they become out of date almost instantly. So that's a real quick tour of some of the core features inside Ice Panel. I'd love to hear your feedback, so please feel free to reach out to us. And thanks very much for checking us out. Stay chill.